Welcome to Safari TV, and here follows another Safari TV diary. An exceptionally beautiful sunrise in the morning with mist in the deeper valleys as we watch the red hornbill digging in a termite mound extracting some of the termites. In the cold morning air, the impala crept out of the thicker bush making their way onto the open area, the beautiful sunlight highlighting the dust kicked up by their feet. They joined the local herd of zebra who grazed and moved around peacefully on quarantine. And the impala ram, oblivious to everything else, continued to chase his females around. Morning sunlight lighting up the flanks of the zebra. With a high score set by me, Patrick began his leg of the ranger race. And started off very well, in fact. He started off with a dwarf mongoose and a warthog on its knees, grazing. A herd of impala in the background. And Patrick himself counted as the human being. Four mammals in the beginning of his race. We headed off to Treehouse Dam where we watched pied wagtail jumping from island to island, feeding on insects in the mud. And a giraffe down by Chela Pan. And made our way to Biffles Hook Dam where there was a grey heron lording over the events taking place in the water below. Consisted of a harmacorp walking on golden water and a hippo and her baby. and a pied kingfisher swallowing the tadpole of a clawed frog. The kingfisher, catching another one, approached one of its youngsters and had a bit of a tug-of-war, the youngster actually managing to tear a piece away and swallow it. Patrick had totaled the 13 mammals, one of the last of his day were kudu, a little bit of a dispute over the kudu, but we decided to let it count. And as night fell, we found a chameleon, having just woken him up from a slumber. Join us tomorrow for Jared's Safari TV Rangers race and let's see how things go for him.